Good morning. Right, uh, Roxy Creations, Roxy's weekly challenge. Um, policy envelopes, kind of like trifold paper keepers, basically. Um, I've chosen these prints. Um, I've already folded some. I'll show you those in a sec. Um, I bought some massive art books. I mean, they were huge. And inside, um, it's all the masters, like Suzanne and people like that. Um, and inside were these copies of the originals. They were kind of just gently stuck to the paper. So I was able to get them out whole. Um, so I'm going to use these. I'm only making four because I want one for my big sunflower journal and one each for the little ones. And I thought these would look really cool, basically. So, um, yeah, I've already started folding because um, I don't want this to take forever. I I'll just quickly unfold. So, yeah, they're really nice. Um, I think these are Italy, aren't they? I think this was a Cezanne. Um, I don't know. I might be wrong. So, yeah, you just fold the um, fold the top over, basically, and then sort of fold it into thirds. And you make like a little wallet. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you the rest in a minute. If you've watched Rachel, you know exactly what we're doing. And this one, I think I messed this one up slightly. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, no. Okay, that's all right then. So yeah, so I'll just quickly fold. This one is choosing which bit doesn't have a lot of detail. So which end rather, which side. So, like that. And then I was having more success folding it this way. And then that way. You'll find your own way. Yeah, because it doesn't matter which way they open. Right, so that's the four envelopes, as it were. So I have pre-prepped, because I like to do things like that, um, some pages. I mean, the idea of these is, is that they are pieces of paper that can be used for collage work in the actual main journal. So I've just chosen random bits of paper, collage sheets. These are Artie Mays ones. Um, yeah, so there'll be one of each in uh, each thing, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I've got original pieces of um, music paper, which should fit. Yes, they do. It can't be wider. Well, it can. You just fold it in. But ideally, you want it less wide than this here. Less wide. That's good English, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to make four sets. There. One, two. I'm not going to make them horrendously thick either because I've got a funny feeling these journals are going to be quite chunky anyway. Bits of dictionary. One next, I'm trying to go down in size. Right, so that's those. Let's just pile those up in there. I've got my little brads ready. Um, I've got hundreds of brads, but I thought these sort of brassy coloured ones would be better. I, I was thinking of colourful ones and shaped ones, but I thought no. No, it needs to be quite simple, I think, is the best policy. Um, yes. Just thinking, what I might have to do is turn those sideways because you want to be able to punch your holes and cap capture, ugh, capture all of your paper. Let's do it that way. And then... Everything falls out on you. So that goes up inside there. I think Rachel stuck hers. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Now if it doesn't fit inside this last bit here, just fold it up to fit basically. There we 
grab some clips. She did recommend clips. I might find some more pages actually. So it's rather thin. Doesn't matter. And then you just refold it into the. Uh, oh, I did it the wrong way around. <laughs> did it when it punch the holes. That's the flap. still be the same length yes ish the idea is that we do that low enough something like that anyway that needs to be able to tuck under there so when I punch the holes, I must remember not to go too far in. Right, okay, one. under there Did that wrong in a show. Oh, why I made it go right up there. Okay, got to have a little bit of a double fold on there. And then, of course, once you've emptied this, you can tear this background picture up into more collage fodder. So, or get it out flat and um, stick it in as a hole. I'm not going to do any extra decoration on these because um, I feel they're so decorative enough that, uh, you know, if I stuck a great big flower on the front of it or something, it would kind of ruin it, actually. I don't think I'm doing it quite right, but <laughs> this is my version. Uh. Yeah, I should have waited folding that. really thick paper as well um rachel did um fold hers twice over but i didn't want to lose too much of the prints i think she did anyway um yeah this is my fashion <laughs> so whatever because the prints were pretty i didn't want to lose them You don't want to use brads i was thinking you could just punch holes and use oh, i think she did that actually yeah um you could just use um threads uh you know um butcher baker's twine butcher's twine oh i don't know whatever it's called anyway the stripy stuff sorry silk you can do what you like with it really i'm just going to use the brads i think So that's that and now the easy bit <laughs> just punch holes um yeah rachel initially was only going through the front bit but you need to go through both because otherwise it's not going to hold anything in so i'm going to use the little hole because my brads aren't huge um 
need to capture all this paper. So one there and one there. Just an ordinary hole punch, you don't need a crocodile for this particularly. Um, if you're worried about the ends of your brads, just get some brown tape or washi just to cover those. Oh, there's my bone filter. You could, if you want, actually make a hole here and wrap it around and then you can just pull those papers out and collage with them, basically. So we just finish the other ones off. I might do a decorative tie, actually. If I make a hole there... Um, do I need to? I don't know, I'll think about that while I'm doing these. Right, now this, I've got to be careful. Because <laughs> so I folded it a little bit too far over. So if I come a little bit narrower, same there. Why did I take that clip off? And there. around the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, let's stop that in a minute. It's another one that just needs to slip underneath. Okay. Today's a school day. <laughs> oh, that was clever, Susan. Well done. Actually, that does stay all right, that one. It's fine, yeah. See, the, the difference is I made it a tuck under, didn't I? Right, okay, so that one I'll need to put a thingy on. Right, these are driving me crazy, so let me just turn these around. cover those that's bugging me so I've got some washi here I'm not gonna use some um, glue on it because then if somebody does want to use these and the journals are sold then they can just peel that off easily so that's covering that one nicely do the same on this one Use the butterflies again, I think. Quite pretty. I don't want them getting caught on the pockets when I put them in the pocket. I think these would be quite nice in the front cover. You know, front cover um, slipping. Might as well do that one. I've got something different. What's this one? Birds. Again, not super sticky, so it would peel off quite easily. 
pushing this over a little bit. Does that matter? Probably not, no. Let's peel it off. That one, I'm going to do an extra, do a wrap around on that one. These, they just flap under, so nice and easy. So again, fairly close to the edge. I really think this is a design that you can just mess around with and do all sorts with, you know. I need the pretty side up. God, I still keep getting a jolt off that when I cut it at Christmas. I don't think it's ever going to quite heal 100%. Who knows? Teach me to play with mandolins. The cutter's not the instrument. <laughs> Yeah, it actually sits really well. That's just that one, that's where I did the double fold. Okay, lesson learned. Do button. Ooh. Okay, let's do you there. And then, of course, the this can be removed for um, for decorating. Right, let's sort this one out. I'll stick that back in there because that was quite handy to be able to just pull that to get that one off. I think it was one of those washi tapes. I just couldn't see the end of it. <laughs> so, um, what do I want to do? I might do some elastic on that one actually. I do happen to have a piece of white. That'll do. It doesn't matter, it's going to show anyway. You're a bit sloppy, okay? Maybe that way down. That's too tight. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. It's going to be awkward. I'll make you shorter. It's quite a good opportunity to put a dangle on here if you want to. This was just a scrap. Normally I measure it a little bit better than this. So that we don't get all this silliness going on. Changing my mind, <laughs> as you can tell. Oh, woman, what are you like? Got some. Let's do that. I tidied up my drawer. It's lethal, isn't it? You tidy something up and then you're like, oh, I can't find anything. Yeah.
right, what do I? Sorry, mumbling. This is a very slippery thread. Why did you use this then? I've no idea because it was pretty. that will do okay there we are so it's four done Let me give it a little bit of a... I might go around and ink the edges I'm not sure yet yeah so I well as you saw I just had to put the thing in there and then you know you just unflap it tear out bits of paper collage with them fold it back in put it back in the pocket which will probably be in the front of the um, journal so yeah, really nice, beautiful prints. And obviously you get the washer, you can pull that off as well. So yeah, here we are. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I hope that was in screen. I will check. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.